Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial brought to you by the Sango Futures Foundation. Today we're going to talk about Adobe Prelude. Adobe Prelude is a great program to use to ingest footage and get them ready to edit in Premiere Pro. To begin, we are going to open up Prelude. It's going to ask us to create a new project. We have to find a destination. I already have a project on my desktop ready and a Prelude Projects folder. We're going to name it First Prelude Project. Hit save. Now you have your Prelude interface. Over here you have your Projects panel where all your media will be displayed. You have your monitor where you will view your clips. You have your timeline and marker types that you're going to use. To begin, we're going to ingest our footage. You can either double click in this projects panel or hit the ingest button on top. In the ingest window, look for your footage. I already have footage ready for you. Once you find your clips, they will be displayed in the middle section of this window. What's cool about this ingest window is that you can do a lot of things to the clips. When you hover over them, you can scroll through. When you select a clip, an orange bar appears in the bottom. That is the timeline for your clip. And a little black box is your playhead. You can grab it, move it around. You can hit the space bar to play your clip. Hit it again to pause. What What's also really cool is you can set ins and outs within the ingest window. Just hit I for in, move the playhead, hit O for out. It's very simple. But for time's sake, I'm not going to ingest all of these clips. I'm going to grab a couple interviews. I'll grab this one and this one. Make sure you click this checkbox to select them. Once you have your clips on the right hand side you can set a destination for your clips. You can even transcode your clips to a different format. This is very useful for projects that use multiple cameras transcode all of them into one format for easy editing that will take time we're not going to do that have your clip selected and hit ingest your clips will appear in the projects panel here I have my two interviews you can view them in this view or as thumbnails you can enlarge them with this slider. We are going to now begin logging these these interviews. We're going to double click on the interview and the clip will automatically set the timeline length to the length of the clip. You're seeing the entire clip right here. You can view the clip in the monitor panel hit spacebar to view it looks like he is going to begin talking right about here this is where we're gonna start adding our markers the two most used markers are subclip and comments here we're gonna add a subclip we're gonna hit subclip and this blue bar shows up we're gonna name it interview one Hit enter and hit play. My name is Gary Knight. I'm... It looks like he stops talking right about here. See that little narrow area? It looks like he stopped talking. So we're going to set that as our out point. There we have our first sub clip. As you can see in our projects panel, we now have three clips. Our two original and our first sub clip. Our sub clip is this short little section right here. There's no limit to 
subclips you can make within any clip. As you can see, he begins to talk again over here. We can add another subclip. Name this one interview two. And assume he stops talking right about here. Set O as our out point. There, now we have two subclips. Let's assume he starts talking again right about here. We want a sound bite of this. We can create another subclip. It's going to start right there, wherever your playhead is at. We're going to name this interview three. And assume he stops talking about here. We're going to set our out point with O. Now we have three subclips. As you can see in our projects panel, we have three subclips and our two original. Once we finish with this clip, go to our second interview, create more subclips. Assume we want a sound bite of whatever is in this section right here. Set your ins where your playhead, set your outs. A new subclip is added. Let's do another one want a sound bite of this area right here set a sub clip I assume it ends around right here set your O as your out point and it's added to the projects panel assume we finished adding all of our sub clips we got every clip that we want out of these two clips it is time to start making a rough cut up here you can choose create rough cut it's going to ask us to choose a destination. I'm going to choose the prelude projects folder I made. I'm going to name it first prelude rough cut. I hit save. A rough cut gets added to our projects panel. Double click on that rough cut and now it's selected. Grab your sub clips and add them to the timeline. We have our first clip, our second clip, our third clip, our fourth clip, and our fifth clip. You can set these to wherever you want in the timeline. You can move these around. Once you're done putting your clips into the timeline, go back to your projects panel and select the rough cut and go to file and send to premiere. Premiere will automatically create a new project. Give it a name. First prelude project. Set a destination. I already made a Premiere Projects folder within this video project. Choose, hit OK. And Premiere automatically opens up with our two original clips and our rough cut in the projects panel. Double click on the rough cut and our clips, our sub clips that we made in Prelude will get added to the timeline. Now that our clips are in Premiere, we are ready to begin editing. We are now at the end of our tutorial. It's been great spending the time with you guys. I hope this was informative. I hope now you know just a little bit about Prelude, how to get your footage ready to edit in Premiere Pro.